Hello viewers, welcome back. So starting this video, we will be covering yet another feature of Tally, which is price levels and price list. So I'll be covering this feature of Tally in four or five parts so that the entire features of price level and price list, you can explore and learn and see how you can leverage this feature. So we will start with introduction and understand why a price list is needed, what is the purpose of price list, and how are we going to enable price level and price list in Tally. So let us go to Tally and understand how we can enable this wonderful feature of price level and price list. Price levels and price lists in Tally Prime. First, let us understand what a price list is and the need for price lists in a business environment. Introduction. What is a price list? It is a list of current prices of items available for sale. It can also be called as catalog price. Generally, we would have seen when we go to buy, say, consumer durable items or hardware items, when you ask for the rate for an item, the shopkeeper takes out a file and based on the company's product, will look into the price list and will inform you the price of the item. The price list might be rate without GST or inclusive of GST. A hotel menu with rates is price list for the food items offered by the restaurant. Need for price list. Price lists helps uniform pricing of their products or services. It also helps in ease and speed of billing or invoicing. Let me give an example. A business having billing person and when they are billing multiple products, mentally they cannot remember the rates of each item. We would have noticed that they refer to a sheet where the rates of each items are printed. They refer to the same and capture in the system. This will help in completing the billing faster. Certain businesses have different levels of customers where they want to have differential rates for the same item. In such case, they will have to create different price lists for each type or level of customers. So price list for multiple levels of customers like wholesaler, retailer, loyal customers and so on. So these are the different levels of customers for whom they have to have differential pricing for the same item. What are price levels? Price levels are identification of different types of entities for whom differential pricing list is created for the items. Differential rates for each of the type or level of customers needs to be identified to create the price list for that type of customers. The price level is created for each type as I mentioned wholesaler, retailer etc and these are the price levels. To summarize first you create different levels of customers and once the list of price levels are created you pick up each price level and start capturing the rates for each of the level. Obviously, we will have the same set of item for all the levels, but price will vary for the same item based on the type of price level you have created. Example, the rate for an item for an wholesaler will be different from the price level of a retailer, which means the rate would differ between the wholesaler and retailer. Let us now go to Tally and learn how do we enable price levels in Tally Prime and create the required levels for the organization. I have created price list company for us to understand the feature of price list. So once you create a company, the moment you save the company creation screen, you're going to get this F11 feature. Now later at any point in time, if you want to enable price levels and price list for your organization, you can do so. How do we do that? Select your company for which you want to enable price level and now you are going to enable the feature of price level in the F11 feature. The F11 feature, if you remember the keyboard shortcut, all you have to do is just press F11. Otherwise, you can click on the company and from the company sub menu, 
you have this option of features click on the features now this is the default feature that tally provides once you create a company and if you observe here the price levels are not getting displayed so what do we do you can go here and say show more features click on this and set to so once you set this show more features then additional features are going to get displayed here if you see here under inventory module you have this option called enable multiple price levels so all you need to do is come here and enable this option enter and save the feature screen we have now enabled the price level so how do we create price levels again we go to the masters since it is part of the master you click on create and once you click on create you will see that additional menu options are available to you for creating price levels and once you create a price level then you can specify the price list of the item so select price levels enter and now tally is asking you give me the name of your price levels so the example that we saw let's capture the same thing so i'll say the first price level that we want is wholesale the second price level we want is retail and so on now it is not necessary that you have to create all your price levels once you enable price level at any point in time whenever you need to create a new price level you can always come back at that point in time and create the new price level so currently let us say that you want two price levels so all you have to do is in the third option just press enter the price levels are created now at later point in time see you can actually use this price list for various other things like you can use price list for some special occasion like festival offer for a limited period of time so let's say now after you have created these two price levels after some time you want to create another price level or another level of customers for whom you want to have a differential pricing all you need to do is just come back here to price level that is from the gateway of tally come to create and then select price levels and press enter you can start capturing the new price levels this way the flexibility of creating price level for you will be available in tally prime at any point in time we have created two price levels and in the next session we will see how are we going to set up the price list for each of the levels in this video we learned the need for a price list and we also understood what a price level is and in tally we enabled price level and price list for the company and also we created the price levels in the upcoming sessions we will see what are the features that are available in price list so that you can leverage the entire functionality of the price list depending on your company's need so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much